sudden, Egypt is building in stone. See, it's an interesting thing. Why is Egypt building pyramids now? Why do they get the idea of building pyramids? And why in stone? Well, the answer is they don't have forests. It's a desert country, so you don't have a lot of wood. Their building material was mud brick, made from rich Nile mud, put in molds, dries, and you build your houses out of mud. But with Zosser, we get stone buildings and the first pyramid. Now, another thing, and I think this is really a legacy of Narmer, how can they build pyramids? Why does pyramid building start with Egypt? Why do big buildings start with Egypt? The answer is, Narmer has all the power in his hands. He can marshal the people and say, hey, let's do this. So, so does Zasser, his successor. And Zasser not only says, let's build irrigation channels, he says, let's build my tomb. Now, think about it. Egypt already has a social organization for work projects. They are used to doing big projects, all working together. So they've done this with the irrigation channels for years, for centuries. And now they use the same skills, social skills, organizational skills, to build the first pyramid in history, the Step Pyramid of Zosser. Right, so it's not an accident that Egypt's the one that builds the pyramids. They have that powerful central leader who can marshal the people to do great things. Now, the Step Pyramid is really remarkable for a lot of reasons. Another is that it's not just a pyramid. It's a complex. There are temples associated with it. There are shrines. So it's a big, big production. And it's hard to believe that this is the first building in the history of the world in stone. But it is. It just comes out of nowhere. There are no smaller buildings in stone anywhere in Egypt. You can't find a small building. All of a sudden, you get this grand step pyramid. So first we see that the pyramid is a, de a development from pit burials to mastabas to step pyramid. Nobody woke up one day and said, let's build a pyramid. Imhotep got the idea of making a zippy mastaba with another mastaba on top, and then he kept enlarging it. So we get step pyramid as the first pyramid in Egypt and the world. Now, how do we get to the true pyramid? How do we get to a pyramid that's not stepped, but has smooth sides, right? which is what everybody thinks of in Egypt? Enter my man Snefero. You will see Sneferu does great things. First, he builds his pyramid. Sneferu wants to have a pyramid. So, like other pharaohs, he starts with a step pyramid. And he builds it at a city called Maidum. It's M-E-I-D-U-M. It's not M-Y-D-O-O-M. It's M-E-I-D-U-M. And at Maidum, he builds a large step pyramid. But then he has the great idea. He will fill it in. He will fill in the steps and make a true pyramid. So the Maidum pyramid is the first attempt at a true pyramid in Egypt. Interestingly, it fails. When anyone looks at the Maidum pyramid, they, they, they sort of feel something's wrong. It doesn't look like a pyramid. It looks like a tower that collapsed. There's fairly steep sides, it goes stepped, another tower on top, but the whole base is covered with rubble. All around the pyramid is sand, blocks of stone, and it looks as if the thing collapsed. Now, there was a theory that the pyramid actually collapsed while it was being built because of this pile of rubble at the bottom. There's more reason for that theory, and it's a theory that I believe is wrong, and I'll explain why in a minute, but let me build up the theory. Let me give you the evidence for the theory and see why it's a good theory, just wrong. Next to the pyramid, right next to the pyramid, is a small temple. This is a place where the priests could make offerings for the soul of Sneferu through the centuries. On top of this temple are two stele. Now, a stella, that's the singular, stele is plural. A stella is a round top stone. We get our tombstones from them. It looks just like a tombstone, only it's bigger. And these were the ancient Egyptian bulletin boards. If you wanted to say something, you erected a stella in front of a temple, you carved your message on it for the world to see, and they could see it. Sneferu was going to have two stelae, two stellas, 